Hey there, do you have a newborn and you're wondering about safe sleep conditions? You're in the right place. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Sarah Mitchell. I'm the creator of the Helping Baby Sleep Method and Helping Baby Sleep and Parenting School. And today we're talking about newborn safe sleep guidelines. So where should your baby sleep? What should that look like? While the American Academy of Pediatrics has a whole outline on their website of very specific things about what they're looking for for your sleep environment. Few key things that you want to remember. Ideally, your child is sleeping on a very firm, flat surface. This is either a bassinet or a crib. It's never too early to put your little one into a crib, but in general, a lot of people use bassinets the first few months because of the frequent night feeding. They want their babies closer to them, and so often people have a bassinet beside the crib, but it doesn't mean that they can't sleep in a crib if that suits you best. The Academy of Pediatrics also just recently changed their guidelines on room sharing. Up until a few months ago, they wanted you to room share minimum six months and ideally 12 months, which is actually a really long time. You may notice that babies are noisy and grunty and that you wake up at every little thing. Yes, that is true. So now the American Academy of Pediatrics has changed that guideline to say six months of age. And the purpose of this is to help reduce the incidence of SIDS, sudden infant death syndrome, which tends to peak between one and four months of age, according to the research. So you want a flat, firm surface with no other things in that bassinet. You don't want loose blankets because they could kick up on your child's face and cause suffocation. And you don't want anything else toys, uh, pillows, bumpers in that bassinet or crib that could pose some sort of a safety risk. Technically, sleeping on people isn't really safe sleep either, but obviously they sleep so much, we're probably going to tend to do that, especially kids who have colicky or have reflux who want to be in a more upright position will probably be sleeping on people, although the AAP does not necessarily advise that. The other thing I want to note about baby safe sleep in the newborn stage is temperature because overheating is a risk because newborns do not temperature regulate well. Overheating could put extra stress on their system and cause distress. So what should you be looking for in terms of temperature? Ideally, your bedroom or the area they're sleeping is 68 to about 72 degrees Fahrenheit. But what's more important to me is what they're wearing. Often we're so worried about them being warm enough that we tend to overdo it. So my first tip is please don't put them in anything synthetic. Synthetics like polyester tend to trap heat and can help your child or lead your child to be overheating. You want to use natural fibers like wool, cotton, um, bamboo, even though I personally find bamboo kind of hot, but that is a natural fiber, which would be better than any synthetic. The other thing is layers. So your child is growing exponentially. They'll never grow this quickly for the rest of their life. When you have such a high working metabolism, they're going to be expending energy. And one of those byproducts is heat. They're warm little things. You may have noticed this already. So in general, an easy guideline is I tend to put my child in one layer less than I'm wearing, okay? Because the risk of being too cool is not as serious as the risk of overheating. Too cool, they're gonna let you know. They're gonna be crying. Their hands will be cold. Their nose will be cold. The back of the neck should always be warm, okay? In general, a child, let's say they're out of a sleep sack and they're older, their hands might be cold. That's not such a huge deal. But you will notice that they're waking up repeatedly because they're too cold. So in general, think one layer less than I have on. What will that be? Also, don't forget when the newborn stage, you're swaddling them, they're getting multiple layers wrapped around them. That bottom layer does not need to be too hot. Okay. If you see sweating on the edge, they're probably a little warm and you might reduce down by one layer. But too cold is better than too warm in general. So in summary, think about flat, firm surface that's contained, a crib or a bassinet, and how hot is your little one? You just don't want it to be overheating. And those are two safe sleep practices that you can implement today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe to never miss another baby sleep and parenting tip.